Hi, my name is Sam Garg. I'm one of the cornea, cataract, and refractive surgeons at the Gavin Herbert Eye Institute. As part of the National Keratoconus Foundation, we often get questions about, um, can I have cataract surgery if I have keratoconus? And what happens to my keratoconus if I have cataract surgery? And what kind of lens should I get if I have keratoconus and cataract surgery? And so these are all very common questions that we get in patients who have keratoconus. So the first thing to understand is, how does the lens uh, of your eye and your keratoconus affect each other. So if you think about the eye like a camera, the uh, front lens of your eye is your cornea, and that becomes bulge and keratoconus. So depending on the amount of keratoconus that you have, that can make you more and more nearsighted and also add astigmatism. The lens inside your eye is what flexes when we're young and then becomes more fixed and cloudy as we age. So in cataract surgery, we're going in and replacing that lens and generally leaving the cornea alone. So if you have keratoconus, uh, your cataract options are really gonna depend on the interaction between that lens and your cornea and how bad one or the other is. So if you have mild keratoconus and you have a cataract, well then um, the surgery becomes pretty straightforward, not much different than, than normal. Uh, however, if you have more advanced keratoconus, this is where uh, you really need to discuss with your physician about your options. Can you benefit from a toric lens? Uh, is a regular lens better for you? And then maybe you wear a contact lens afterwards. Uh, will the cataract surgery affect your keratoconus? The answer is generally not. In, in, for most patients after cataract surgery, the keratoconus remains unchanged. This does have implications when it comes to lens choice. There are different lenses available that we can put in your eye at the time of cataract surgery, the most common being a monofocal lens. A monofocal lens will correct for the nearsightedness uh, created by your cataract and keratoconus, but does not correct for astigmatism. Depending on the regularity of your keratoconus and the regularity of your astigmatism, you may benefit from what's called a toric intraocular lens. A toric intraocular lens not only corrects for the nearsightedness, but also corrects for your astigmatism. So if you have very regular astigmatism, that is, uh, you know, if you can correct your vision uh, easily in a pair of glasses, you may benefit from a toric lens. However, if you're dependent on a hard contact lens, uh, chances are that you'll benefit mostly from a monofocal lens inside the eye. By and large, in patients who have uh, keratoconus, significant keratoconus, uh, steering away from lenses that correct for distance and near at the same time, such as multifocal lens, is generally a good idea. Keratoconus uh, is very common, and so as people age with keratoconus, they will develop cataracts. So it is important to understand how cataract surgery, uh, what options you have for cataract surgery if you do have keratoconus. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please keep in mind that the, the information stated here is meant to be uh, for uh, general use. Uh, it is not meant to be specific to you. So if you have any questions about your care, please consult with your doctor about um, your options specifically. Thank you.